Dr. David Banner and his alter ego, The Incredible Hawk. Lou Ferrigno, who starred as the original Hawk in Town for Galaxy Comics. Good morning. It's good to see you. you. Welcome back. Thank you. So, I, I can't believe it's been 40 years. I almost hate to admit that, but you look fantastic. Thank you. Um, what was it like back then? Because you were the Hawk before there was computer-aided special effects. At the time when I did the Hulk, Spider-Man and Captain America feared that the TV series that the Hulk would like to pioneer. I was just hoping to pick up as a, as a series for one season. But somebody told me that there'd be a convention you'd be doing like 30, 40 years. you have like over 100,000 people. <laughs> I would be laughing about it because, but now the number one box office is being dominated by a uh, superhero, which is great. It's just incredible. Yeah. Back then, how much of what we saw on screen as the Hulk in the TV show was you? Did you do your own stunts for that 99. show? 99.9% everything. Because uh, back in those days, they didn't have computer generated. So if I came through the window or jumped from a helicopter, you know, it's me because of the, of the body. It was the back of the sun, man. Like, I got real close to Kajit, like, so basically. Yeah. But I had to do everything myself, being naked with, uh, with uh, you know, the jeans cut off and all that pain. And the eyes, when you look through the eyes, like, look through a peephole. It's very, it's very difficult. Wow. So, and people may not realize this, when they've been watching some of the more modern Marvel superhero movies, they were still hearing and seeing you. You made a nice cameo on one of the Incredible Hulk movies. Yeah, and I also did the voice for the two. Yeah, you've movie. still been the voice of the Hulk here. Yeah, there. uh huh. And did some of the animated shows as well. Yeah, UPN and everything. I've done it for years because when I did the series, my voice went to deep as now. But I know how the Hulk thinks and feels that they invited me to, to, to do the voice for the movie, which I was very ecstatic about. So, have you, do you ever spend any time with the other Hawks out there, Mark Ruffalo? I met Mark actors? Ruffalo. Uh, he's a wonderful actor. Eric Norton, I love, and uh, Eric Banner. You know something, when you think about it, no one topped Bill Bixby. Bill was the best. And he actually, you can, you can feel it, very organic. And he directed some of the episodes. You guys got to be very good friends during that time. Yeah, he was a wonderful too. director. I don't know if you know, he was a licensed magician. I did so on the set, he performed magic and everything. Bill was very talented actor, director, and producer. So you're in town for GalaxyCon this week, and folks can come up, get a little time with you, get some pictures, get autographs. Who is it that's coming out to see you? Is it well, guys my age that grew up with you? Everybody. You got women coming over, crying. They want to hug me. You got three generations of people. But you know how many stories I hear about mothers? The, the kids tell me their mothers, how much they hated me because when they were kids, <laughs> they put the green makeup on, put a fist through the wall, break the TV, <laughs> jumping on the couch. But we got three generations. Great thing about this Galaxy show, this, this weekend we have wrestling shows cosplay with competition, but it's nice because you have over 15,000 people, and it's wonderful because it's, it's social media is very exhilarating. Uh, has it been neat watching how the Hulk has changed over the years, but how popular he's remained in all these decades since he started He's the number one character in the world because of because we, being green, every country embraces the Hulk. He's a beautiful character. So what do you hear from people when they, when they talk to you about it? Do they ask you about the old show, or do they ask you about the more modern... Uh, versions they, of the Hulk. They mostly talk about all the stories. Like, for example, when I did the series, every episode had, had like a laser cut out of metric about life. And they talk about, for instance, like finding that, that that one episode affected their life. And also, they like to talk about the makeup process, what it was like to be in the makeup, how much you like the character, and where I came from. Well, very cool. Yeah. Let's give folks the information if they want to come out and say hello to Lou Ferrigno and all the other folks at GalaxyCon today through Sunday at the Richmond Convention Center. You see the address down there. You'll see celebrities from movies, TV, video games, wrestling, all kinds of things. We've got all the lists and all the different times that you can meet them right now on our website. You can go to WRIC.com. Lou, it is so awesome Thank to have you, you back too. in studio here, too. Looking good. Still doing a lot of fitness stuff, too, right? Pop top, baby. <laughs> Check in that forecast, and we got a green wall. Say so you no. Know